Back in Vietnam, my friends usually hung out late in the city center or stay up to watch movies. As much as I wanted to enjoy the companionship until the end, I held back. I always politely declined by saying, "I'm tired. I need to recharge." The true reason was that I have known I have chronic hepatitis B since I was 12 years old. When I was 17, I hopped on a plane to the United States to study. A new horizon, a hopeful chapter of my life. But still, I kept my secret. I just wanted to successfully complete four years of study, while not making my liver condition any worse. A year later, I was at a student leadership conference. An activist talked about ableism, which is discrimination because of disability or disease. She gripped my heart with her words. In a room full of 100 students, I felt like she was talking directly to me. I wondered how many other people in this room are keeping secrets about their health conditions. Why can't we talk about it? When I was younger, I didn't know how serious it is. Now, I understand it's a lifelong disease. Even though sometimes I am afraid I'll be discriminated against, I tell my roommates I was tired of keeping the secret, and I wanted to be able to ask them for help if I needed it. I have a burning desire to say openly that I have chronic hepatitis B, just like I would say I have the flu. Even though happy is way less contagious than a flu is. We hide our conditions inside. So many people keep their secrets bottled up. They think I am the only one because they are afraid to speak up. They are worried they'll be judged. But if we all speak out, no one will feel like the only one. Just be vocal. 